Hello everyone and welcome to another Bitcoin market analysis by Inspo Crypto. Um, well, let us go forward and directly check what the market is doing. As you see, DXY was uh, lifting up, as mentioned several weeks ago. It maintained here 105 after a re retest. It has its breakout to the uh, uh, to the upside. Next target should be 174 and the next one 108. Of course, I'm expecting maybe to go down again, maybe, I don't know, to 1055 or something to retrace before we can go up even more later on. Um, at the same time, SPY retested now twice, uh, even three times its support and failed to break. So, and Bitcoin, to be honest, I don't know. It's it's so boring what Bitcoin is doing just in the last few weeks, to be honest. It's the volume is declining more and more and more. Um, even when we are retesting such areas here, it was a nice one. But today, for example, the highest 5,600 Bitcoins volume in one hour on Binance, that's that's just incredible low in my opinion. That's wow. Well, um, let us go forward and let us take a look what's happening with the weights ratio because I have tweeted about that today. That the weights ratio here, something happened. I don't know exactly what. It seems that. Uh, CryptoQuant changed some data because um, if we check that, for example, also here, well, I don't know, here that shifted a little bit and that here a little bit as well. But the problem is now it's indicating us that the weights ratio, so that move here, triggered actually that nuke. And before it was larger, you know, it was until here something. So, and then it retraced and then it went up again. And now, as you see, it's indicating that the weights ratio is rising even more than before. So they are still in preparation for, <laughs> I don't know, for what, to be honest. Um, because that looks huge and I don't know why Bitcoin today looks so strong I mean pff, that's not doing it's maintaining there the volume maintains at the same level so 5,000 bitcoins one hour candle on Binance and that's it I mean pff, I really don't know what what Bitcoin is doing but in my opinion, very boring. However, if we take the weights ratio one hour time frame, we see that mm, the weights ratio is at the moment at 93, so indicating it's very high. If we check, for example, the weights ratio 30 hours moving average, it's li lifting up at the moment, but nothing big. And if we go further, we can see here the uh, Stablecoin reserves on exchanges is declining, indicating they are taking money out from the centralized exchanges. Let me, well, maybe, yeah. And, well, stablecoin supply, it's it's just flat. It's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. No big money is coming in anymore to the market. So, yeah, doesn't look great, but, however, I mean, as long the market maker don't want to dump the market, it's not going to happen. Uh, that's that's what we see at the moment. Um, we will take a look to the market maker entities and what happened because I was noticing some activity and correlates very well to the dump we had. But since then, that's it. So let us go and check the flow activity next. Well, 
um, as we see here, we see nothing. I mean, the biggest was just in last hour, the biggest inflow today, 1,400 Bitcoin. And that's just nothing, 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 nothing. And could explain why the volume maintains that low, because nothing big is happening. We have on spot exchanges Bitcoins accumulated. I know that because the balance just lifted up but they are not selling them. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Um, it played out very well, like uh, mentioned in the last few days. I have mentioned that I was expecting such kind of double top here. Well, at the end they did double top even here in the local. But yeah, we reached, well, I was calling 20,800 just because of the candle wick. We didn't it. We did here just uh, 20,500. Started to dump. And that's it. I mean, everything else, no more big stablecoin inflows, no big, well, absolutely nothing. I was expecting a bigger impact to the price, but nothing is happening. That demonstrates a little bit as well that the market is just in the hands of few. And they can decide if they want to push the price more down or not. That's it. It's not really cool, but it is what it is. Let us go forward and check the future market next. So we see here that the funding rate lifted up and at least it declined a little bit indicating more demand for shorts but also here nothing big open interest lifted up a lot and declined so indicating they liquidated and many longs just closed their positions before maybe they liquidated them and at the same time we see here the leverage ratio had its peak here and declined also indicating i guess they wrecked some persons here in that area. So let us take a look. Um, also here, nothing happening today. Really, it's, I don't know, 80 millions. That's nothing. Even here, 1,300 bitcoins. And uh, no, 3,750 3, bitcoins. Um, inflows to derivative exchanges while 3670 bitcoins in the same hour outflow so quick trade outflow that's it also nothing big to be honest let us take a look to the blockchain whispers and we will see here of course we are coming back to um yeah 61 to 39 percent long short ratio and people are longing again indicating the local bottom is in afterwards we will go up and even here on ethereum but not the same 54 to 46 that's in my opinion that's okay that that's just i don't know uh, I don't care about those two here and yeah, well, that's that's it. So indicating people are flipping to bull, bullish again. Let us take a look here to Binance directly and check if we can find anything there. It takes a little bit. But it's it's really interesting. I mean, DXY. I remember that Bitcoin were reacting or even SPY was reacting more sensitive to DXY when we were even below 100. So and right now it's like who cares you know it's also demonstrating you how manipulated the markets are in my opinion. Sometimes they react different 
you know, even if the situation didn't change a lot, it's almost the same situation, even a little bit worse than before, just because of the monetary policy. So, well, uh, almost low shorts volume, big long volume, usually I would say that's extremely bearish, but as long as the market maker don't want to dump the market, it's not going to happen. It's really easy. If we check, I guess we will find exactly the same positions on FTX. Let us see. Hello. And we will check that now. Takes a little bit. Yeah, we will see what's happening, what will happen uh, later on, maybe tonight. But as mentioned, everything will depend on market maker. Mm, yeah, okay, we have. So it seems maybe the market maker is longing and that would explain why he is not dumping. Uh, usually we would say that should attract the exchanges to react this, um, but well, it seems also here the interest is not really big. Well, we can see that here. That's incredible. Wow. Just wow. Okay, then let us go forward and check the option trades. So, if we take a look, for example, here, um, we see the CBDs, FTX were selling, um, they were down, it seems, and yeah right now lifting up if we check a little bit it's well it looks everything very similar even here futures with bitcoin collateral futures with stablecoin collateral and the aggregated one looks a little bit more bullish uh, we need to see if we can now give me the 30 minutes please always the same here so uh, give me buying, if we go forward, let us take a look here, Binance sold right now, that explains maybe a little bit the current price action not doing anything, absolutely anything. Here Bitfinex was buying, didn't sell, maintains. And if we check, for example, Binance Perp. Um, funding rate maintains up, should change. We should see the next funding rate in a few minutes. And yes. That's it. So also nothing big, uh, to be honest, really absolutely nothing big. I mean, if option traders are expecting such kind of move to maintain a price, so it first of all, it means we should go a little bit more down and uh, then maintain that price level for a while. So it's going to be very boring maybe also a nice opportunity to start to trade options because uh, you know it could be also very interesting for um, altcoins for example you know because um, when altcoins usually when bitcoin doesn't make anything sideway run usually the altcoins are popping up i'm checking a little bit yeah i mean Exactly. I mean, I see that that the first 
altcoins are popping up right now already so yeah that could be a nice I mean of course only when we are at 18.5 for example then maintain there buy alls and you know make some 20-30% gains with that or something could be also very interesting uh, let us take a look for example here and you see I mean right now pff, the market maker it's not doing anything he was the main driver it seems he is a little bit his flows um, correlates very well with SPY sometimes so um, we had a fund flow of 3000 Bitcoin just before we started to dump and then another 1500 bitcoins here and right now another 1000 bitcoins but that's really if you compare that that's nothing that's really absolutely nothing absolutely nothing like they are still in preparation and not really looking like they want to bring some action at the moment if we check here, I've mentioned uh, it lifted up, it declined afterwards by almost 10,000 bitcoins. But that's it. So I'm still missing the next big move. Not happening. And um, this guy's declined. Not that big as well. So let me see declined by 20,000 bitcoins and lifted up by 10,000 afterwards these guys here are accumulating they're buying 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 and of course the retailers as well so also here nothing big to be honest really absolutely nothing let us check here no even whales and that 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 really confirms a little bit my sentiment my you know um, that the market is looking very boring because nothing is happening even the transactions related to whales is are declining are really declining so yeah we need to see when whales wants to start again that could be a nice opportunity to go up or down and then um, to jump in in long or short or whatever but at the moment it looks yeah like they don't want to do it okay let us go to the next chapter so let us take a look what's happening here oh gosh okay um well, we see that on Coinbase we still have a lot. If we go, we can check that. A lot of orders waiting there and almost nothing up. Absolutely nothing. So I'm still convinced we will go down even more. But it's not in our hands we need to wait until the whales and the market maker entities are ready to do it it seems they are not ready yet so nothing here on Deribit. still here at 21 2 and something yeah 21 just waiting more orders on the upside than on the downside bit stamp 21.6 some orders here well nothing big Binance also here different orders at 25 21 21 5 and a lot here also waiting and 24 We check Bitfinex. <laughs> Spoofing like hell as usual. What an exchange, really. 
um, at 16 and a lot here but waiting nothing happening if the x perp if the x perp waiting at 21.6 and 18.7 so that would make sense you know to go down oh, also here limiting at 19 Kraken spot waiting at 22, a little bit at 21, and a lot here at 18.3, for example, a little wallet 19.1, nothing big. Bitmax, yeah, also only here 17.2, nothing big. Bitfinex derivatives, nothing just spoofing. Kraken Futures, also nothing. FTX Bot, wow, nothing up and a lot here below 17.2. Binance futures, they are reduced but still waiting here 21 and 21.5 and above. So also interesting, they don't want to let the price go above of 21k. And we have here 19, 19k. So I'm not going to expect any big move today anymore. Doesn't look like. Absolutely not. Now we have at 16.5 and some at 75, but really nothing big. That's it. Let us go forward and make the last chapter.